Thank you. When we were at the National Air and Space Museum for the Innovations in Flight Day, we were planning on, we were hoping that uh, our friend Jonathan Barron would be, be able to bring the shark uh, to the event and we'd have a look in it. But uh, he was, well, the victim of some uh, bad weather and so couldn't fly in for that event. But David, uh, you had almost a better time uh, with John, didn't you? Yeah, well, John apologized um, and to us via email and said, but if you're avail someone's available on Sunday, I'll take you up if the weather's good. And who am I not to say, um, <laughs> let's yeah. go for a flight? Um, so I quickly wrote back. I said, um, be careful what you offer here because I will take you up on it. And um, actually, the weather cleared, and I met. John, I drove about an hour south of Dulles to um, meet Jonathan and his wife, and we went for uh, an hour flight over the Shenandoah Valley and Shenandoah River oh, in the Shark. It's beautiful, beautiful country. So, how was the Shark? Um, it was a fighter jet with a propeller. Uh, it's. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. First of all, let me say that when he pulls out this little airplane out of the hangar, I looked at it and went, there's no way I'm going to fit in it. Because um, you're a tall guy. I'm 6'4". Yeah. And I've never been in a bubble aircraft, anything with a bubble canopy. Um, and so I was, I'm 6'4". I'm also claustrophobic. Mm. Well, I was comfortable. I was relaxed. It's an incredibly comfortable cockpit. Uh, it's a side stick, so you don't have anything between your legs. Um, so it's a hands-on throttle and stick. And it was a real joy for me being in the back of the airplane. The only thing is it was kind of a hot day. Um, when you go flying in a bubble aircraft on a hot, sunny day, you need to wear a hat, you need to wear sunglasses, and you need to bring lots of water. Mm. Um, now... Jonathan's a helicopter pilot and you can't take you can take the pilot out of the helicopter but you can't take the helicopter pilot out of the pilot <laughs> so we um got over the Shenandoah River and um he was flying not quite nap of the earth but we were doing some yanks and banks and eventually I was getting a little dehydrated and said knock it off but um it was a very lovely airplane. It's very light on the stick. Um, he did let me fly it. Uh, my hand shaking was causing it all sorts of oscillations. It's a very, it's a very light air, light to the touch aircraft. Um, it also has an amazing autopilot. We took the autopilot, um, and the autopilot basically flew Jonathan and I up over the Shenandoah Mountains back to the airport. Lots of power very maneuverable um we were doing some um we didn't do any rolls loops or spins but we were doing a lot of yanking and banking and um it was a real joy um i being on an aircraft went with a 90 degree bank and doing some turns and stuff i had a great time and anybody who saw the pictures that i posted um that jonathan took of me with his internal camera system and we do have video of it you you could see the grin on my face. Um, <laughs> it was, it was an amazing day. Um, you know, and all I could think of was eat my eat your heart out, Max and Rob. I know they want to get their hands on it, but thank you to Jonathan for giving me the opportunity of being baggage. Um, <laughs> I'm baggage. not a pilot, but but it was it was a really dream flight and. Um, I couldn't be happier. And if anybody gets to see Jonathan and gets to see the shark, it's an amazing airplane and an amazing aircraft. And he didn't do it justice when he was on the podcast. I can honestly say that it is one hot airplane. It is hot inside, but it is overall, it looks good. And if it looks good, it flies good. 
And when you when you take off and and you the aircraft is put in a ninety pulled up and put into a ninety degree bank as you fly over the airport, I couldn't have asked for a better flight. So mm. thank you, Jonathan, for that. So David, did Jonathan ask just you if you wanted to fly, or did he ask us if he asked us? So so. How come I never? How come I never got the? You you jumped right away, didn't you? He was flying on behalf of us. Yeah, well, I. Well, I, no, and and all fairness, I told you in advance when I saw the email, and I told you at dinner Saturday night that you Jonathan offered, and if the weather was good, I was going flying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you were busy, and you were busy on Sunday, so I decided to take that opportunity, but. Um, we we have standing invitations from Jonathan, all of us, to go flying in it. Perfect. And we'll put uh, some links in the show notes. I don't remember what the episode number was that Jonathan was on, but we'll have that in there. And that's uh, the uh, the show notes for that episode, I think, is where you can find out more about the shark or the, the places you can go to learn more about it. So uh, very good. Thanks, David. 